But really and truly, they're not excuses at all. They're, there's two issues, two barriers that stop me sort of like going to events like this. Um, the first one, um, well, they, they're both anxiety. Oh. Oh. Hello, hello and welcome to um, this second, uh, or is it the third, um, personal blog. I, I've changed the look of the place. I've gone for a nice yellow light to hopefully mellow my looks. Um, but it might work, it might not work. I've dispatched with the green screen. Um, I found it a little bit too unpredictable. Um, anyway, hopefully this is a more relaxed, a more um, open opportunity to have a chat with you. And I want to continue on with my story about anxiety, but I wanted to focus on TwitchCon. Um, so there's recently been a TwitchCon in Europe, um, 2019, and it seemed to be a golden opportunity to actually meet up with other streamers, actually engage with them, and actually, you know, just share experiences and do that whole networking business. Unfortunately, I didn't go. And the reason I didn't go, would you believe, was probably due to anxiety rather than uh, money or time or anything like that. I think sometimes I use the excuses of work or money, etc. But really and truly, they're not excuses at all. They're, there's two issues, two barriers that stop me sort of like going to events like this. Um, the first one, um, well, they, they're both anxiety, but the, the first one is an anxiety about traveling. I have a real fear of um, traveling anywhere. And the more, the, the less I'm in control of it, the worse that anxiety gets. And I've worked this out over years. So say, for example, I'm driving somewhere, then the anxiety is less than if I'm on a train. And there's certain things that I still have anxiety if I'm driving, um, which can manifest itself in, you know, IBS pains or cold sweats or fear and things like that. But um, it sort of like lessens it the more in control I am. The the less I'm in control, the higher the anxiety. So I, I've, I haven't managed to go on a plane yet at all. Um, that is just like a step too far. I have braved going on a train, um, which worked. I had to take some um, um, beta blockers or like tablets to do it, but and travel sickness tablets because I feel constantly sick, etc, uh, etc. Et but I did do it. Um, but to go a distance like from the UK where I am over to Berlin, um, that is uh, unimaginable. I just can't get there at all. Now, and the other thing that um, the reason I didn't go to TwitchCon is because of social anxiety. Um, I have a real issue about um, connecting to people, talking to people, being polite conversations or any anything like that, especially if I'm not, I don't know them. Um, to give you an example, um, even over the Christmas holidays, if I go to, say, uh, my brother's house, I go into almost like a rabbit in headlights um, sort of like phase when I'm literally frozen solid I'm not interacting and really and truly you you can't see what's going on in my head but in my head it's I'm constantly constantly thinking don't get up don't get up don't get up don't walk out don't walk out don't pass out don't pass out all the time and I'm sort of like having this internal conflict between me and my mind and my body and it's quite scary you know but the the thought of going somewhere and actually having to meet people and actually interact with people, even if I know them, um, is quite, well, even thinking about it will give me um, the start of anxiety. And I, I was actually looking at some of the wonderful pictures from TwitchCon 2019 in, from Berlin. And 
actually seeing it was actually giving me anxiety. The, the number of people, the um, possibilities of interaction. And it, it's interesting that I feel very relaxed here talking to you via this camera because there's no social interaction. Um, but the more I'm by myself, the better I feel. Now, you might be thinking, well, what's this got to do with his last video that he was talking about um, anxiety happening? Well, I, I wanted to um, talk to you about it just to show you how it impacts me for a lot of things. And most people see this as a negative or says that I don't care or I don't want to go to TwitchCon. And I think anxiety um, and mental well-being and health, you know, has that real stigma attached to it. And a lot of people don't understand it um, because they haven't experienced it. They don't even understand what's going on. And I, I think that's why I want to make some of these videos just to show, sort of like share my experience with everybody. So, yeah, so that's why I didn't go to TwitchCon. Um, but hopefully... Hopefully, you know, things are carry on improving. And in the next video, I'm hopefully going to talk to you about how I stepped forward in my recovery and how I'm still working towards actually being able to cope with that anxiety. So, yeah, tune in next time. I'm sorry if this was a little bit left of field but I just felt that I wanted to talk about it so I hope you don't mind anyway please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video by doing so you not only help to support the channel but also my dream I will catch you all later in the next anxiety based video or personal blog and until then have fun guys and I'll catch you all later and well carry on enjoying life see ya bye